Hi guys, so the UK government's IT system to deal with the importation of goods has been described as medieval by those attempting to use it post-Brexit. British companies importing goods from the single market must respect new levels of red tape since Saturday the 1st of January. However, traders have complained about bugs in the system when they attempt to submit vital details regarding their cargo, which in turn creates other problems. The problems primarily affect shipments of fruit, vegetables and plants, with UK importers also experiencing difficulty logging details of products of animal origin. Boris Johnson's government has said that they are aware of the problem, however they have yet to find a workaround. It looks like thousands of importers are unsure if they'll be able to submit correctly the forms needed to import food products. This is when, in the winter months, Britain imports about half of its food. Sorry to disappoint Brexiteer John Redwood, you can't produce everything in the United Kingdom. Britain, according to reports, is dependent on EU imports of fresh fruit and vegetables, with around 90% of lettuce and 85% of tomatoes shipped in from warehouses in Europe. Another problem for food importers is following the lies that were told by Michael Gove last year when he said that the government was ready for Brexit. It was then business's turn to prepare. Well, importers have to input data manually, it seems, as the software to do it automatically won't be ready for months. A spokesperson for Quick Declare, a company that helps businesses import and export goods, described the problem and I quote, It is like we have gone back to medieval times when we have to copy books by hand instead of using a printing press. As we predicted before, and this has been confirmed by business groups, consumers will have less choice and higher prices as a result of this latest raft of Brexit red tape. They have also said 2022 will see more gaps on shelves. This is going to be even more problematic for households on low or fixed incomes as they're currently seeing rising energy prices along with an increase in national insurance contributions taking place in a few months' time. As I pointed out in previous videos, shipments of plants and products of animal origin will require online forms, but this paperwork will also need detail of every item as well as the source and destination. The system handling this is called IPA FFS, but due to a bug in the software, those companies using it to complete the documentation have been met with error messages saying that the declarations cannot be submitted without food safety certificates or details of the border posts where the goods will be physically checked. But they don't actually have these details because the UK government doesn't have all the border posts built yet. What a friggin' nightmare! Remember back in 2020 when the EU offered the United Kingdom the chance to extend the Brexit transition period to prepare for Brexit, while well, Boris Johnson and the ERG spat in their face? The government has attempted to downplay the problems, saying that only a small number of traders are affected, but have refused to say how many and how long the problem will continue. A problem for many small firms importing goods from Europe is that they have probably not tried the software and will only encounter problems when they attempt to submit paperwork. The spokesman for Quick Declare said, and I quote, The whole system is makeshift and out of date. Nobody from government has so far confirmed that it will work when it goes live. How can companies prepare based on assumptions? Anyone who has worked in software development knows that it takes years for new programs to be up and running without serious problems. Even if the UK government does pull a rabbit out of the hat and find a solution even in the short term, UK businesses face a mammoth task as a consequence of being a third country. Every detail of every plant down to its genus, the variety and weight must be inserted manually rather than uploaded through an Excel spreadsheet. This means hours of work repeated over and over each time a shipment is made. Boris Johnson's government had originally promised the software would be ready for the 1st of January, but no new date has been set. Perhaps this is what Brexiteer Edwina Curry was talking about when she said Brexit will be an exciting time for business. When will this software be fixed? It could be weeks, it could be months, it may never be fixed. Brexiteers created this problem. The EU offered Johnson an extension in order to get his house in order, and he rejected that. 
and now businesses are picking up the pieces. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.